Hi there, I'm Shu Rayner and welcome to another edition of the Wednesday Drawing Show. And on the show this week, there are no excuses to start drawing right away. What's in the mail? How to draw eyes from the side. Some exciting news about your fantastic drawings on the website. How to draw with a ballpoint pen. And this week's drawing task for you to join in with, so make sure you watch right through to the end of the show. Well, that's a lot to pack in, so let's not talk about it. Let's get on with the show. People often ask me what drawing materials they should buy so they can get started drawing. They also ask what materials I use as if using the same pen as me will save them a lot of practice. Sadly, it doesn't work that way. Otherwise, I would be using the same pens that my heroes use. Drawing has to be one of the cheapest pastimes in the world. All you need is something that makes a mark and something to make a mark on. And that is all that drawing is, making marks. Anyone can do it. If you're like me, your house has probably got a drawer where all the rubbish accumulates. Oh no, would you look at that? But I bet there's an old ballpoint pen or a pencil in there somewhere. Aha! And look, in the bin, an old envelope. There's plenty of space on the back to make a drawing. It's fun to buy and try different pens and pencils and types of paper, but you don't need them to get started. I left my sketchbook behind when I went to see a band playing recently. I really wanted to sketch the musicians, so I hunted around until I found a flyer for another show. There was nothing printed on the back, so that's where I did my sketches. I've even used an old matchstick when there was nothing else to be found. There is no excuse for not drawing. Oh yes there is! Oh yes, there is one excuse. You're allowed to wait until you've watched the whole of this Wednesday drawing show. What's in the mail? What's in the mail? What's in the mail? Yeah, we have mail! First of all, Donna Utley in Canada sends me this gorgeous letter which would make me blush to read out. She says such lovely things. But more importantly, she sent me a couple of cards which were drawn by Victoria and Avery, her grandchildren, and uh, they're going up on the Wall of Fame. Thanks for your lovely letter, Donna. Much appreciated. Yeah! And next, all the way from Texas. <laughs> We have ourselves a rhino. Well, look, that's me. <laughs> a great uh, skateboard. Look, that's cool. Hey, Shu, hope you put these in the Wednesday drawing show. I drew a rhino from memory, like you said. No Google, just my mind. Second drawing is a picture I drew of you. And the last is a copy of one of my sketches. It's a skateboarder from Olivia. Thank you, Olivia. These are going up on the wall of fame. This one's from Ireland and I know who this is from. It's from Shane and Richard Pryor, who sent me a letter last week. You remember with the train, the little train, I showed you how to draw. And they say, thanks a million for the train. We tried to draw it, but we failed. It's just a thank you letter for the train. But we also sent you the bookmark. They said they were going to send me a bookmark. How cool. <laughs> thank you. So this is one of my many failed attempts. I think these are really good. It was a difficult drawing that, but look at that. That's beautiful. Well done. That's great. We've got another rhino. And they've done a copy of my snake as well. Tried to do the shadow, but I failed. I don't think you failed on the shadow at all. That's really good. Shane and Richard, these are going up on the wall of fame. Yeah! What is this? It looks like it's come from Bradford and it's a homemade envelope and it's kind of made out of manga. It says on the back, cool envelope, huh? <laughs> Let's see if I can tease this open gently. Well, this is from Eva Simmons, who says, never stop making videos. And she says she's 13 years old. I absolutely love your videos and enjoy learning new techniques and drawing styles. And she's given me a great long list of things to add to my very long list of things to do. And on the bottom, she's drawn a zombie. Eva says, never stop making videos. I shan't. This is going up on the wall of fame. And 
finally, what is this? It's from Frank Gatter uh, in the States. CO, where is that? Now, I know Frank from before because he won a, a drawing competition that I ran earlier this year. And in here we have, whoa, it's a brush. And there's a letter inside. Let's see if there's an explanation. Uh, oh my goodness. You could see it being made. What, 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 what? Oh my goodness. Let me read this letter. Hi Shu, I watch all your YouTube videos. In your videos you talk about using a brush to clean the eraser fragments off your artwork, but I never see you using a brush. So I made you one. The handle is made of poplar and the bristles are badger hair. Please continue encouraging people of all ages to expand their mind with art and reading. <laughs> That is absolutely beautiful. I will treasure that, Frank. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm quite touched. I'm going to put these pictures up and I'm going to put your letter up because you've got lots of little drawings on there which are really good too. So thank you, Frank. <laughs> these are going up on the wall of fame. Well, that was terrific. Thank you very much, everyone. And if you want to send me stuff and get on the wall of fame, here's the address to send it to. I love getting stuff in the mail. YouTuber Parsley Gremlin asked me to show you how to draw eyes from the side or from an angle. They are not called eyeballs for nothing. Eyes are spheres, so it's good to learn how to draw them, like I showed you with the snake's eye last week. When you look at the line I'm drawing on this ball head on, it appears to be straight up and down. But if I rotate the sphere sideways, the line becomes a curve. Now I'll draw the pupil on the eyeball. From the front, this looks like a circle, but when you rotate the eyeball again, the circle turns into an ellipse or an oval type of shape. The eyelid is basically a slit in the skin through which the front part of the eyeball peeps out. The rest of the eyeball is still there behind the eyelids and it affects how the eye will appear from the side view. So practice by drawing the eyeball in lightly until you get the feel of how it all works. Once you decide on the angle of your pose, the eyeball can swivel in the socket so that the person you are drawing can look straight ahead or look straight at you, but sideways on. I'll do a more detailed video on Monday. All it takes is practice, practice, practice until you can do it without having to think too hard about it. So what's new with the Wednesday Drawing Show? Well, I do love showing all the drawings that you're uploading on the WednesdayDrawingShow.com, but they do make the show a little bit long. So, welcome to the Sunday Gallery Review Show. Well, this will give me much more time to show your work without feeling rushed. However, if you add the code words, OK to crit on the show. <laughs> then I'll choose one drawing each week to show on the Wednesday Drawing Show. And I'll explain why I like it and make a few suggestions for style and composition. Now on the WednesdayDrawingShow.com website, I'm adding artists to watch like Josh Bookout, who contacted me after last week's show to tell me he had his own way of making Celtic knot drawings and he said he'd make a video for me. And true to his word, that's what he did. And if you follow the link at the end of the show, you'll see a fascinating video on creating Celtic knots of all shapes and sizes. Thanks a lot, Josh. That was amazing. If you think that you can make a great drawing video too, get in touch. Just recently, I've been doing a lot of ballpoint pen biro drawings. This is because I want to empty out a biro for a drawing video I want to make soon. But have you ever considered how versatile this kind of pen is? They are a bit scribbly. You can draw it 90 degrees to the paper and get a good flow of ink. But as you make the angle more shallow, the pen seems to work differently and you get a much thinner line. At a really shallow angle, you can almost push the ink around and blend it. 
This is because the ink is quite sticky. As with all drawing implements, it's fun to experiment. And if you can't afford expensive drawing materials, try using a ballpoint pen. People give them away for free as advertising. Which brings us to this week's drawing task. I want you to draw eyes, but I want you to draw them on the cheapest materials you can find. Use the backs of envelopes or the insides of cardboard cartons, anything that wasn't made to be drawn on. Use biros or freed pencils, ketchup or even chocolate sauce. Have fun and load them up to the wednesdaydrawingshow.com slash upload your drawings and remember to add OK to crit on the show if you would like the chance of being the lucky person chosen to share their work with the world. These are this week's hot links to videos featured in this week's show, so you can go and see them now. If you're on an iPad or the links don't work, there are links in the description below. Please remember to tell all your friends, school, work, all about the Wednesday Drawing Show. I need loads more viewers if I'm going to be able to keep doing the Wednesday Drawing Show. So make sure you like, share and favourite on YouTube. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook and G+. Feel free to embed this video on your own website or link to it on your Facebook, Tumblr or G Plus pages. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and make sure to watch the Wednesday Drawing Show every week. Why not check out my nearly daily vlog to see how I make the show and what I get up to. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you on the Sunday Review Show. You take care now. Bye-bye.